Hello and welcome to part 2 of chapter 6. In this part we're taking a look at how to create the sound effects for various different blueprints. So hopefully you've imported in all your sound effects, if you haven't done so please make sure you download them and import them from our project assets folder. Once they've all imported in we can now start adding them to our actors. So let's start off with the skull. When we pick it up we want it to play our pickup effect. So what we're going to do is go into our blueprints and open up the key platform. So at the end of your interact where you've got it picking up the skull, at the very end we can do the play sound at location. Now play sound at location gives us a three dimensional sound so we can place it at a certain point in the world and the player would hear it louder or quieter based on their distance from it. So the sound we want to play here is the pick up, so pick up skull SFX and the location is going to be get actor location and we're going to get the player's location for this, get player location, or get player character sorry. Click compile. We're now going to go and do the door. Open up your door and go to where you see the door opening on the timeline. So before the timeline is started we want to get and call our sound effect. So let's just drag that out and do play sound at location. And the sound will be the door opening. And the location will be the door's location because the door is what's causing the sound. So door, uh, we want to get the location of the door. Get actor location. The compile, and you're done. Next is the arrow shooter. So this launcher, we're going to open it up, and when we take it to shoot an arrow, we're going to take it to play that sound effect. So on the shoot arrow task, we're going to do the play sound at location. And we're going to choose our arrow sound effect. And the location is simply just get actor location because it is this thing that's causing that sound. Close that. Go into your arrow. So after you apply damage and destroy the actor, we're going to play a sound effect for when you're being hit. So play sound at location, and we're going to play the sound of being hit. And this would be the player's location, so get actor location and the target will be the player. Hit compile and close. And that's all of our sound effects put into the game. Hit play, so the music will start playing. And I can pick up the key, open the door. and get hit by the arrow that gets fired out. And these are the bare minimum that you require for sound effects. Obviously you can do loads more, we can do like things like footsteps and when the arrow hits the wall. So join us in part 3, where we'll be working on character footsteps. So as we take steps forward, we play a little sound effect for each footstep. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you like what I do and you want to see more content before anyone else, please consider supporting me for at least a dollar over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laney. For just a dollar, you can get access to all these videos early before anyone else, sometimes well ahead of anyone else. And I'll take this moment to say a big thank you for all my supporters so far in supporting me in making this channel content. Wouldn't be doing this without you guys, so a big thank you to all of you. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.